This is a quick fix tutorial where I'm focusing only on difficult sections in the piece, applying only those principles that don't require sound imagination skills and will quickly ease your playing, making technique more comfortable and fluent. These basic principles are wrist movement, elbow movement, intonation, arm weight, articulations, phrasing and time. If you've been playing this piece for quite a while, keep in mind that all these principles won't work at full potential, as all sensations might interfere with new ones. Yet they will ease your playing as much as possible in your current situation. This is just a basic fix to let you feel more comfortable while playing, and since we're not imagining sounds, we're not making any harmonies, dynamics or voice and nuances in this tutorial. And feel free to leave your request in the comments section below. So now let's get started. Match the wrist movement with the known direction. Move gently without any tension. At the last stage of practicing, this movement will be remained in muscle sensations only and won't be visible to the eyes. This will keep your wrist tension free. And a missing fingering in the score before starting playing. While the wrist movement is matching the known direction, the elbow is moving towards the new position on a circle note. This will release tension in hands and improve speed and accuracy in leaps. So today I'm continuing the set of etudes. So I think um, today I'm gonna finish uh, the whole 25th opus. And let's get started. I'm gonna start with movement again with absolutely relaxed hands. Um, play with a natural sound, could be pianissimo. This piano is so bright that even when I'm gently touching the key, oh god, I mean, this Stanway needs a huge hole, <laughs> not a small room. Anyways, so that's how it goes. I used to play this E to the and I would even imagine this note to the left. But the point is why it's to the left? Because it's kind of higher than C. Because, well, I am following the melody line here. <clears throat> even though it's still kind of semi quaver, but you know. Um, The melody and eventually when I'm following the phrasing line and the melody line that really benefits so you it's up to you you can firstly try to the right but I personally prefer following melody line make it flat to the left in 
time, you can take as, as much time as you need, especially on elbow movement. Sing in between notes with a glissando and resistance. Keep the same sensation while singing out loud only notes. While playing, keep singing the same way internally. It is possible to sing the same way while playing fast passages. Internally sing with the energy of weight. This is how it sounds without weight versus with weight. Such singing will sustain transferring of weight while playing, bringing more freedom and power to your voice and hands. Now let's engage intonation and weight. absolutely relaxed and you can actually compare it with playing without intonation with and feel how more freedom it brings to my hand and how much mm, more full my tone becomes.
Phrasing is a structured intonation, breathing, where smaller blocks with more prominent sections are united into larger blocks with more prominent sections. Use intonation and weight in phrasing to make energetic crescendo towards more prominent sections and blocks. While practicing phrasing, take a little break, a breath after every block, and slow down towards the main interval in a motif, the main motif in a phrase, and the main phrase in a sentence. So, as you can see, I just showed you two variants of phrasing, first and second. I prefer the first one, but I gave the second one just for fun, just to show you that really the phrasing interpretation is your own creativity. So you can choose whatever you want, but I feel that it's more natural to play with the first variant of phrasing, so we are gonna uh, proceed with the first one. And again, I think I forgot to mention this in my previous videos. When we're playing with the phrasing, that's the best tool to release tension in hands because in the beginning of a new block, whether it's a motive or a phrase or sentence, this is where with kind of energetic exhalation, exhalation, oh, I don't know how to say, it. but when you kind of start a new block with kind of zero energy. This zero energy what makes uh, to release any tension in your hand. So in other words, playing with phrasing benefits our technique. <laughs> so let's go by motives first. phrases.
Time and tempo mean more than just the speed of music. It's a part of the character of music. After choosing the pulsation, connect time to the musical image of the piece. And if the image of music is joyful, feel and describe the pulse not as just slow, but calm and peaceful. Not just faster, but lively and exciting. Not just fast, but energetic and bright. Feel time while playing, always following a phrasing line to sustain the flow of playing. So let's start with a slow time and first let's choose the pulsation in this piece. So the way I will say it, mm, let me think. Mm. Well, let's try by the quarters. So let's go very slow and let's give it emotional meaning, emotional feeling and description. Okay, so that's gonna be beautiful and very relaxed. Let's go a bit faster and it's going to be a little bit more lively. <clears throat> places where I think my fourth finger didn't really feel stable at all. If I'm not mistaken, it was somewhere here. Towards this ascending third, so I'm going to intonate this ascending third with musical speech to prepare my fourth finger better. Ability to feel a difference in singing different intervals will let us pre-feel through intonation the distance of every interval much more accurately. That helps mind and hands to faster prepare to the intervals. As I have said before many times, if we can't feel fast while playing, we're not ready to play fast. Feel the difference in sound while singing with intonation these intervals.
So it's gonna go this way. So let's go a bit faster. Okay, so that's how we fix our fourth finger. Let's try one more time. Ah! Well, actually, third finger also needs some more attention. Okay. here for example another variant <clears throat> so I miss C and I analyze and I feel I miss it because I need to move my elbow more quickly to reach C that's what the reason my elbow wasn't far enough and quick enough so we're gonna fix that as well Thorns, which you're probably always afraid and wish to uh, never happen to you again but that's not the how you actually resolve it so you resolve it with musical speech you resolve it with better elbow movement Something <laughs> to say sometimes. 